Cover letters need to die. Currently applying for jobs and it just pisses me off how they all ask for cover letters. Why? How is my resume not enough? You either like what you see or you don't. This bullshit letter needs to stop, it's a waste of time and completely unnecessary IMO. That is all. You don't love corporate fanfic about how you've always wanted to work at a grocery store and it's your life's passion to make minimum wage. I've hired a few people at an engineering company. HR sends me CVS to review to select people to interview and never sends the cover letters even though I know they are required as part of the application process. I thought about sending a ton of terrible applications to a job I might really want from different emails. Then sending mine that would look much better lol. Why do you want to work for this company? I just met you, and this sounds crazy, but I saw you're hiring, and that you'll pay me. Insert snooty British voice. Yes, yes, we see what you have done and can do, but now we want you to beg. I hate when they ask for your resume and then ask you to fill out an application. Why? All you need is on my resume. I'm in recruiting and I haven't read one in years. They are all the same. Oh wow, a letter you wrote saying you are awesome and a hard worker? No way. I've seen ChatGPT make some pretty decent cover letters. ChatGPT, write me a cover letter for insert position here. ChatGPT is my new best friend for drafting these. I edit them into shape afterwards, but it has sped up job applications about fivefold. I recently started submitting a one-page short story unrelated to the job. I would rather tailor a cover letter for a job than the resume, which is often what needs to happen in my field to respond to specifics in the job postings. I have three or four stock cover letters for different types of work that I swap out the company details on and that usually covers my bases. The whole application process is so automated it's ridiculous to even ask for it anymore. A human being isn't even putting eyes on your application until it's made it past like three levels of screening. If not just abolished altogether, a cover letter should be requested once you've made a short list of candidates. I don't care about a little cover letter because it's nice to say something in an actual personal human way but how about when you have to upload a resume and then on the next page write out all of your work experience? I think it depends greatly on the type of job being applied for. I'm a marketing manager, so when I need to hire somebody, a cover letter demonstrating basic communication capabilities is very helpful. I don't necessarily toss out any resume without one, but ones with a letter go into the review first pile. For other types of jobs, I could see it not being important at all and probably a waste of time effort. Also, resumes need to stop for menial work. Ridiculous how a 16-year-old needs a resume to work in a sandwich shop. I hire for persuasive writing heavy jobs. I read the cover letters first and don't even glance at the resume unless I'm drawn in by the cover letter. I have no doubt that some industries and positions don't need them, but I rely heavily on them. I don't mind writing a cover letter though seems like a dated process. What needs to stop is the long application form. Regardless, if it's a paper form or even digital, those long application forms need to stop. There is more information on my resume than I provide you on those digital forms. Cover letter just one more thing to get thrown away. As someone who has been out of work a lot for reasons outside my control, I think I'd rather write a cover letter describing my interest in the job than submit a resume full of huge gaps in employment history. I can work, I'm good at stuff, I just got trafficked and kept as a sex slave for years and I don't know how to put that on a resume. I'll probably get downvoted to oblivion but I like to see if someone can actually string a sentence or two together. Yes it is part of the job in my case. You'd be surprised or not how many people use the wrong to two two, there 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 etc. Yeah, I am not fond of them either. In fact I've done dozens of interviews I work in tech and I have never seen a cover letter. So, I'm not sure what happens to them. 
Bro, make a template and copy-paste keywords in. It's a two-second job this way. I've only ever written one cover letter. When I applied to my current job, I had 20 years programming experience at that point but only incidental experience in what we do at my company. My cover letter explained how I would be able to apply my prior experiences and how I would be an asset to the company. I've got no problem with that cover letter. I'm being paid better than I was ever at previous companies. Agreed. They are slowly going away, at least in the tech world. I have not had to write one for my last two jobs. ChatGPT just put in job description it spit it out in 10 seconds. About all the time a CL deserves. ChatGupt. Works wonders. Also asking for a CV and also having to add all your CV details into their website. I have not been asked for a cover letter in close to 10 years. Maybe it's industry specific but I certainly don't expect to write them anymore. Never used one, never mattered. Many employers will ask for a ridiculous amount of extra steps to apply as a way to filter out the prospects that would be willing to do a ridiculous amount of extra work. Cover letters and suits. It's my first test if a company is right for me. I've never ever submitted a cover letter. If they expect it. I wouldn't want that place anyways. Having been on hiring boards going though applicant qualifications. I'll be honest. I don't read those unless the person has made it through the first round or sometimes two of eliminations of manual review. Take Luke's message to Jabba in Return of the Jedi and alter it to suit. It basically covers your bases. Applying for jobs is mostly a numbers game and partly a word search puzzle. I constantly hear people complain about how they don't like cover letters. I have yet to hear anyone explain why they are helpful to hiring process or why we should enjoy writing them. It all just feels like making you jump through an extra hoop. I've never done a cover letter in my 15 years of working. If an application requires one, I just don't apply. I've never had trouble getting called back for interviews without cover letters. Why do you want to work here? I need money to live and would provide my workforce in exchange. If a job requires a cover letter that shows me they probably also require a bunch of other boring and pointless corporate bullshit and I just pass. As someone who interviewed probably hundreds of people, I couldn't agree more. I don't read them, I don't know anyone who does, and the resume is sufficient to make a decision whether to interview someone or not. Also, please don't send thank you emails. Can someone provide the specific step-by-step -step process of using ChatGTP to assist with writing cover letters? I am 100 for using technology for this process but my first few attempts didn't produce the awesome stuff I have seen ChatGTP produce. Someone suggested uploading a short bio, another person suggested uploading a resume and the job description. I need to know the magic source. It really needs to die, agreed. It never made sense to me. Especially since they never even seem to read the actual resume either. My friend is a hiring manager. She only keeps the resumes that come with a cover letter, she tosses the rest. She gets a sense of who someone is by what they choose to write and it helps her choose who to interview. She also says it immediately shows someone doesn't know how to follow basic instructions and directions when the ad says include cover letter and they don't. So many just mass apply to all jobs without reading the job description properly. A CL lets her know that the person actually cares to get this job. This job pays very well, at flexible hours, it's a good one. ChatGPT has entered the chat. Wait until you enter the info from your resume into Workday a few hundred times separately for each company rather than a single profile. Can't find good workers my ass. If the business runs anything like the application process. Fuckers think we are applying for 4-6 jobs or something. I don't mind cover letters. But I'm pretty sure mine doesn't even get past the spam filter. 